Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV here at EWA in Nuremberg, Germany. I am at the Desert Tech booth right now with Florence. We're going to talk about what has to be done if you want a Desert Tech MDR or MDRX in this country. Florence, tell us about it. So, um, we're importing the Desert Tech to Germany since several years, but we only were allowed to sell it to hunters. And we, mo we had many competition shooters who want them, and then there are silly laws like everywhere, not only in California and other states. So if you want to have a bullpup in Germany as a sport shooter, it's not allowed to look like a military fully automatic weapon, just to look. It's only about the look, not about the function. Everything else has, could work really fine. So, And one of the features is venting holes in the handguard because the German government thinks if there are venting holes, the barrel cools faster, and then the weapon... It's way is, deadlier. Yeah, no, yeah, you can shoot it fully automatic. Just oh, that makes sense. Yeah, cools. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't... Yeah, it's totally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we have really struggled with that. And then um, you have to get uh, permission to sell it to them, to the sport shooters, and that's our solution. It's not that different from the normal MDR. It's just about filling the venting holes or the M-lock. Yeah, for the, for the German law, it's venting holes, not M-lock, not attachment points, just venting holes. And we designed it, we printed it at two, three days ago and uh, trying to get now the permission to sell it. On the Could you theoretically German. put Picatinny rails on the, like, uh, over here, the six o'clock, or I'm sorry, the uh, three o'clock and the nine o'clock side? Yes, we could, but... Uh, Nobody uses that because um, for sport shooters, weapons are not allowed in Germany, mm -hmm. so there's no reason to put it there. We uh, put M lock in the bottom because that's no problem because <laughs> you can see it from the side, so it's totally <laughs> fine. It's, it's not about the function, it's just about the look. So if you want to uh, mount a pistol grip or something like that, or a bipod, that's no problem. But if you mount a pistol grip or a bipod, you, get, you have to get a special permission to use that pistol grip and that bipod. So you took a picture, you, you mount it or you Photoshop it <laughs> and uh, send to the German FTA a picture of it and then ask them for permission. Then you pay $232 uh, euros, of course, and then maybe they allow it. Normally, our ATF is very, very generous. They allow almost everything, everything they could go through. They're, they're tr kind of pissed by the government, they don't like them either, so they try to get us everything we want, but some things still doesn't work out, like the venting holes. Yeah. Florence, I have done a lot of interviews in my seven years at TFB TV. This is some of the craziest shit I have ever heard in my entire life doing these videos for YouTube, but I guess at least on the upside, it, it does look kind of clean. I mean, that yeah. is kind of a cool look. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. And especially if you got away with, I know this is a 3D printed prototype, yeah. but like maybe if you did a polymer, like that might be cool, huh? Our plans are to get it from, uh, from a metal, like aluminum. We are talking about uh, with um, some partners of us to get it produced by them. And that's just, for, that's just to, to make the picture to get a approval, because if we don't get approval from the ATF, we don't, um, we don't have to, to go to a company that produces for us. How the hell do they know if you're a sport shooter or a hunter? Like, how do they know the difference? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a hunter. I'm a big buck hunter, you know, the, the video game. In Germany, you're only allowed to have weapons if you can prove that you are either a hunter or a sport shooter and you have different kinds of uh, uh, different process to go through. And so I, I go to the ATF office and they pull around a deer and I shoot it in the face and oh. then it's like I'm a hunter, oh. I'm good. For a hunter you have to get your hunter's license and you have to have a test and the most people like study for like almost over a year to get to pass the test to be a, allowed to hunt. I think you need uh, two weeks of school. Also um, you make it the whole year one day uh, per week, or you make two weeks on one uh, 12 hours a day. Makes a school, you get this pass. The pass is for three years. All three years must make a new stamp. And it's personal with picture, with where you're born, and all the stuff. <laughs> it's where you uh, allowed to hunt, also which county, which um, hunting area. We have a license uh, system in Germany, not 
um, you rent the ground where you yeah. go hunting. And so you have the whole book. The funny thing is, with this book, you can buy nearly everything on a gun you want. You can buy suppressors. You can That's like the, the passport to fun town. Yeah, so many people, sport shooters, make just the hunting license for get the cool stuff. And so the hunters get to have the fully automatic holes. Yeah, they get the fully automatic <laughs> holes, they get the suppressors. Um, with special permission, they get lights and lasers Ugh. and stuff. That's that's almost everything is possible if you're a hunter. All you have to do is yeah. shoot a deer in the face at, yeah. at the ATF office. You yeah. heard it here first on <laughs> TFB TV. Yeah. So how much how much does the MDRX cost in Germany? About 4,000 euros. 4,000 okay. euros. Yeah. But Everything is expensive. Like to get, you have to get the permission to import it, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have all our guns approved. So you get the rifle and you ship it to a, a proof house. Yeah, proof house from the government, mm -hmm. and then they shoot it and they test it, and then with every single rifle, and then you're first you're allowed to sell it. Well, Florence, sounds fun. Good luck with that. <laughs> I've very much enjoyed going through this very eye-opening yeah. look on, on German law. And, and seriously, I, I'm glad that you guys are doing this. I know it's a pain in the ass. Yes. I'm glad that there's someone out there who's willing to undertake this monstrous cluster yeah. in order for you people to be able to get stuff that you know we can just buy off the rack in America. Thank so, Thanks for visiting us. And I think there's one important thing in Germany. It's almost everything is possible if you know how to do it. And as as a dealer, we all we, we try to get everything possible for our customers. So. And again, I think that's pretty awesome. And you know what else is awesome? IWA in Nuremberg, Germany. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more.